flashbacks of Travis Pastrana ripping on one of these. What a kick-ass machine. Things that are way faster than the 125 has a right to be. Kind of reminds me back when they ran the 125s in the Nationals. The, uh, um, just the sound this thing makes is absolutely intoxicating. What a kick-ass machine. Uh, obviously, it's had a frame off. It's a full frame off custom build, starting with the custom paint job on the on the frame, the metallic red uh, that pit plays nicely with the, the factory Suzuki red uh, graphics. Um, just a stunning piece. We put it up on the stand. I'll go over with you what's been done to it. Full frame off build. Bike came right down to the frame. Uh, the wheel sets were dismantled, and new stainless steel spokes were laced up to the uh, new black rims, the Warp 9 rims and, and the new black hubs. The front brake was rebuilt with new pads, and new fluid. The front uh, fork protectors are new. It has a brand new front fender on it, brand new front number plate. Uh, new Pro Taper bar risers, which are nice. It raises the bars up about three quarters of an inch. Along with a brand new set of Renthal twin wall bars, uh, brand new clutch perch, quick adjust of course, with the new ODI lock on grips, new kill switch, new Renthal crossbar pad, new works connection master cylinder, uh, cover in blue, and of course the match cylinder was rebuilt and flushed with a new brake, front brake lever, a new ODI throttle grip, uh, new radiator shrouds with new Suzuki OEM replica graphics. The tank was cleaned and polished inside and out. Um, brand new seat cover. The uh, rear fender is brand new. The rear side number of plates are new. It has a full Pro Circuit Platinum exhaust system on it. The uh, side covers are the Boyson Factory Racing Ignition and Clutch Cover in the sand color, which looks pretty trick if I don't say so myself. Uh, new uh, folding moose gold anodized and black shift lever. New oversized IMS Super Stock pegs, which are a big improvement over the stock ones. Everywhere you look, there's all kinds of cool custom bits on this bike. The frame protectors, the uh, um, entire bike's been gone through from top to bottom. Carb's been rebuilt, new air filter, rear box has been cleaned, new rear chain of sprockets, uh, new stainless spokes on the Warp 9 wheels with the blue anodized hub, um, new Dunlop rear tire, and of course it's got the Pro Circuit factory sound stainless shorty silencer. It just sounds freaking wicked, man. I love the way this thing sounds. One's out of the frame, the whole top end was rebuilt and refreshed. It has 220 PSI and it's an absolute freaking rocket. I, I weigh 225 without any clothes on with this leather jacket and, and uh, all this gear, I'm probably 245, 250 and it, it almost flipped over backwards coming up the driveway if I wasn't covering the rear brake. This thing is an absolute rocket ship. The power to weight ratio is ridiculous. It handles beautifully. Um, of course, it's run a VPT2 fuel. Car's been rebuilt. The silencer was repacked. Um, the whole bike's been gone through top to bottom. So if you're looking for a kick-ass 125 two-stroke to go have some fun on, it's probably the most fun dirt bike ever made. Your ship just came in. Also has a new chain slider on it. Um, I think I pretty much covered anything, everything on it that was done. So uh, if you're looking for a kick-ass 125, you know, ask Travis, Travis or any of the, the old timers what the most fun bike they ever rode on, and the 125 is gonna be at the top of the list. Got the uh, Trick Works Connection oil fill plug anodized blue. It's got the anodized blue rear brake uh, uh, perch. It has the, the uh, red anodized axle adjusters. Just lots of cool, cool touches everywhere. It's got a complete new hardware kit on it. All the nuts and bolts holding all the plastics on are new. It's got the yellow uh, tank breather hose. It has a Works Connection frame guard. That's just what I can remember. I'll write everything up in the ad that I can remember. Um, and it's the performance speaks for itself, man. I it think it's a freaking rocket. So. Uh, Andrew spent a lot of time on this and uh, got it dialed into the nines. It, it, it's just an absolute rocket. So uh, definitely Kaplan America approved. Thanks for watching and God bless America.